your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by ACUA, keeping Atlantic County clean and green for a bright future. And good Saturday evening, meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. We're going to continue the cold air throughout tonight. Skies do begin to clear, though, but with breezy and cold. Temperatures dipping back into the 20s, feeling even colder, unfortunately, with that west to northwesterly breeze. We're partly sunny for Sunday. I think we'll start off with some sunshine. Clouds move in here, I think, later on. Certainly colder than we dealt with even today and even feeling even colder with that breeze. And end of the week, storm, or maybe even storms, possible white weekend. Talk about maybe talking about some storms, bringing some white stuff for us. We'll talk about that, though, in just a couple of moments. For today, we got to 43. It certainly didn't feel like that with a west wind near sustained near 20 to 25 miles per hour. But that was still a good five degrees below normal for this time of year. So we'll certainly see no, unfortunately, as we continue, that looks like as it tends to extend, not seeing anything close to our normal conditions, especially as we head into the extended into next weekend. Temperatures currently out there falling back into the low to mid-30s, 35 in Hamilton, pair of threes in Vineland, 38 in Fortescue, 36 in Courthouse, 38 as you head towards Atlantic City, a pair of threes also in Tuckerton. So these temperatures continue to drop, with the clear skies will drop even farther. And unfortunately, with the west to northwesterly breeze sustained near 15 overnight, it'll feel even colder out there. So if you have any kind of late evening plans, you definitely need to bundle up heading out and about. Dew points are dry, obviously, with that west to northwesterly flow, not really seeing much in the way of moisture out there. So that will continue to be the case and allow for that radiational cooling to happen as we head overnight tonight on into early tomorrow morning. Taking a look at future cast for us. Again, cloud cover will fade away as we head towards the overnight hours tonight. We'll see sunshine to start tomorrow. Then we'll see clouds build yet again as we have that west to northwesterly flow pushing on in throughout the afternoon, on into the evening, making it feel that much colder out there. Monday, I think we start off sunny, less windy. That's some good news out there. We'll see a few clouds moving in. There's a weak warm front that's going to try to push through way to our north and west. That might sh shift our winds just a bit, maybe give us some cloud cover but certainly won't feel as bad as over the weekend on Monday because of that sunshine and less wind out there. As for tonight, more stars than clouds out there. We're breezy and cold. Look at mainland, 24, 30 along the shore. Sustained winds west at 10 miles per hour, gusting to near 20 to 25 miles per hour, making it feel like the teens and 20s out there across the area. Tomorrow, 39 will do at the airport. I think most of us are going to be, though, in the mid-30s. Again, with that west wind, sustained 10 gusts to 10 to 15, um, sustained to 20 to 25 miles per hour, excuse me, making these temperatures feel that much colder and feeling more like the 20s with that wind with sunshine to start and some clouds building by the afternoon hours itself. Temperature pattern looks like we're going to see ourselves a deep freeze as we head into the extended, into especially the holiday weekend next weekend out there. We're, we're talking about temperatures 15 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of year, so we're going to brace ourselves for temperatures possibly not even getting out of the 20s with strong winds out of the northwest. Seven-day forecast. Monday mentioned a little bit better. Tuesday, partly cloudy, a little bit warmer. And then we start to watch two storm systems push in here. Wednesday into Thursday, I think, is going to be a near miss. That's why I think we'll stay partly cloudy. It's this secondary storm that's going to form off of Maryland as of right now. Thursday on into Friday could give us a chance, maybe some rain, some snow, and ending as some snow. But then what it does, if even if it doesn't hit us with any kind of precipitation, look what it does with our temperatures. Your exclusive Norcast plus three. Saturday, 25. Christmas Day, 32, and then the day after Christmas for those big sales, 23 degrees out there. Have a great evening, everybody. I'll see you tonight.